A new project begins today, 18th of January 2009. Uh, we have only one woman. 52 experts from 14 countries are meeting to change the way men dominate the senior positions in science. I'm very excited to be part of the diversity project. Uh, um, we all have problems to find uh, the necessary uh, amount of women uh, in higher level positions. This is the problem. More women than men begin as graduates. But they leak away so that men occupy the vast majority of the most senior posts. If you uh, look at the efforts that Europe takes to be to, to stay and become even more competitive, I think tapping into the women workforce is crucial uh, for, uh, for the long-term success. We're senior scientists, we're social scientists and people with expertise in career management, human resources managers. We have a Minister of Science and the directors of four major laboratories, the people responsible for selecting the most senior posts in their institution. I'm glad to uh, coordinate the project and our main goal is uh, to have more women in decision-making positions in material science research institutes. And I hope uh, after three uh, uh, years um, we, we have this result. Knowing many of my male colleagues, I know that they need a long time to be um, convinced that it's good to have a female um, a colleague in a leading position there. And, um, but we must go this way. It's a very uh, exciting issue. We, we have tried for years or even maybe decades and still we are not successful. So something must be understood in the mechanism, the underlying mechanism. And this is really what excites me. The Ministry of Science and Fine Arts of Saxony is a partner, and the Minister of Science is a team member. For me, the decisions become involved in this project was easy. As a minister, it is just as much a concern of mine to help women reach management positions. And we see that we have a lot to do. We meet everyday women uh, working in science who have problems to progress in their career. And we also have difficulty to, to, to address directly the, the decision maker and the, the person in charge within universities. And I think the, the great particularity about this project is exactly that the partner themselves are decision making um, in research institute. We are a powerful team. We will focus the decision-makers' minds on the problem, taking them from inertia to awareness. We will challenge the opaque practices that generate the inequality and push to make them transparent. We will identify the best practices and promote them. And we will make public what we find. We will go to the major scientific conferences and hold satellite meetings, explaining what we have found to the thousands of young scientists. At the European area and so when you are organizing a local event, workshop, roundtable... We will lead roundtable meetings with all the key decision makers, such as the directors of the major laboratories, the deans and vice-chancellors from the universities, the politicians, and make them aware of our findings. In teams of this kind, um, men are missing. You can find one or two, but in this group, working group, we are half a half. And this is amazing. Uh, the first time in, in my life I work in, uh, such, under such conditions. So uh, I would say that this is the most important part. Why do this? Firstly, we think we will get better science. Mixed teams of men and women are more open to innovative ideas and do better research. Secondly, Europe needs scientists and we must not waste almost 50% of the scientists we train. And thirdly, justice demands a level playing field. We have a budget of over 300,000 euros to spend and we will make it have an impact.
I don't have doubts about the results of uh, of our project because um, we have the means, uh, the composition of the team, and uh, the will to do it. So no doubt about the results. Our website will keep you informed of what we're doing.